Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Sky. So I'm just showing you a sneaker that I picked up on a restock by the thumbnail and the title. You'll you'll know what it is already, but I just thought it was kind of cool. On this day, actually, I think these restocked on February 2nd, and I think I woke up at like 9.50, like naturally. Um, no, it's a little late in the day to actually wake up, but it depends on on your sleep schedule. But I kind of woke up, wasn't planning on going in for anything because I'm trying to watch what I spend as is most people maybe but uh i went for these in my seven and a half size because yes i have small feet um and the stock on seven and a half and this is the men's dunk um was about 1200 pairs i'm pretty sure like 1235 maybe on the seven and a half in men's i think in the size nine and women's which is seven and a half there's like over 2k but i wanted to go for the men's size just because i just prefer to go for the men's sizes if there's a men's size so don't know how i managed to cop these i did want to eventually get the black and white i don't know if you want me to call these pandas but it doesn't matter pandas black and white whichever um i do think that i would technically prefer the highs um i have tried to go for the highs but i haven't been successful um but yeah as an everyday sneaker this is cool. It's going to be great in the summer, but still, maybe eventually I'd like to get the highs, but it just depends. Um, but I just want to talk about the Panda Dunk. If you ever, like, I should have looked up if it went down because of the restock, the resale price, but I know these are going for maybe like 300 or something around there. I don't know if it's more or less than that, but people really want these. And I don't know if it's just because it's an everyday sneaker and it'll go with literally pretty much anything. Um, but I don't know, like, if you think about it, if you pay that much and it's a sneaker that you're going to, you know, wear all the time, beat it up, all that stuff, is it really worth to pay that much money? I'm not sure. But in terms of this, I don't actually know when the original, this specific black, white dunk, I don't know when it literally released for the first time. I feel like, I feel like this is like an OG colorway for a dunk, but I'm not even sure what the first dunk was. But in terms of, like, quality of the sneaker, I'm going to kind of compare it to a sneaker I've already made a video on. So if you want to go watch that, <clears throat> it's the um, the, uni the new University Red Dunk Highs that actually still haven't released in the U.S., but maybe in March or something or April. I don't remember. I thought I saw it on House of Heat. These should actually be releasing. Now, let me take the shoe tray out, then I get a better toe box squish. Um, but, yeah, this, this is actually quite a bit more stiff than I thought it was going to, than I thought it was going to be. But, like, let me try and, like, here's the toe box squeeze on this. It's not really that stiff. It is kind of stiff because it's a brand new shoe, and I will have to wear it a bit to get it more comfortable. That is actually not a bad squeeze. It's not really like, I don't know if Dunks ever have had tumbled leather, but this is like not even close to tumbled leather. But then this toe box squeeze is pretty stiff. <laughs> it's pretty stiff. I think I, the, the, I titled the video, the review for these. I said, these are okay, dot, dot, dot. But I don't really wear them too much, but I do really enjoy to wear red. But I... I snuck a peek. Obviously, I didn't even unbox these for you. I just kind of showed them to you. But they just come in the regular Nike Dunk box. And if you want to see the, uh, the tag here, seven and a half Nike Dunk Low Retro White, Black White. So no extra laces, which I don't really think Dunk Low's regular GR pairs come with any other laces. Uh, the only other regular Dunk Lows that I personally have are those... Um, I actually forget what they're called. I don't know if it's championship red or something like that, but it's like the reverse dunk where the toe box is red. I think this is red and the swoosh is white. It's like reverse. It's a reverse, reverse colorway. Um, they're not in here. I actually, I think they're out in my other sneaker thing by my front door. But I just think if you have been wanting Panda Dunks, if you have the money and you really want it, 
maybe maybe that maybe you should get it but i don't know for resale i mean people have probably done this they've probably gone for resale and they wear it as an everyday um but if you can hit on a restock because i counted like i looked at my sneakers and i went through and i'm like retail retail resale just to see and more definitely more than half maybe like 80% of the sneakers that I do have, at least behind me, were retail sneakers because most of the time that's what I go for. So that's pretty cool. I'm actually quite surprised about that, but I've already got these a little dirty. But I intend on keeping these, obviously, since I've already worn them. But in terms of quality, I think, I think these are decent quality. I mean, I, I kind of wish Dunks had better quality leather, but I feel like... With all the all the sneaker releases, not every sneaker is going to be the quality that you want it that you would have preferred it to be. But for a hundred bucks retail price for these, if you can hit, it's definitely worth it. I would say if they ever bring these back and you know that they're coming back, just go for them if you've never had them before. Um, because a hundred bucks for a dunk, which is actually normal for a dunk low. I think that you should go for it. I think you think think usually Jordan one lows are a hundred dollars too, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, let me know if you guys went for these. Let me know if like your thoughts on getting like sneakers that you would wear every day on the resale market. Because yeah, I I got the resin four fifties, easy four fifties, and the dark slates. I don't wear them every day, but they're in my rotation because I wear. Well, the, the dark slates are. The resins, it depends on the outfit because that colorway doesn't go with everything. Um, but obviously black and white goes with literally everything. White and red goes with a lot of things. Like if you're wearing a black outfit or black pants, white shirt, this goes with that too. Um, because you got that pop of color on your toe. But <clears throat> that's, that's all I really wanted to, to make a video on. I don't really have anything else on the way. I don't really have any G Fuel stuff on the way. I know I shouldn't really talk about other stuff when I'm making these sneaker videos, but let's just circle back. Let me know what you think of Panda Dunks. Do you refer to them as Panda Dunks or do you call them just the Black White Dunks? And if you would be so kind, let me know if you prefer Dunk Lows or Dunk Highs. Like, would you prefer the Pandas as a high or a low? Just curious. I, I like the Dunk Lows. I'm just... When it comes to tying my shoes, it truly depends because I have, um, I, I think the championship reds, I should go grab them, but I'll grab this Chucky right here. I watched a video on somebody lacing up cause I'm just curious. Um, and he does this kind of crisscross pattern when he did his laces. So it kind of just slides on, you don't have to tie them. Um, but the only thing I don't like about that is that there's nowhere to like put the laces so I can, the laces are, you know, tickling my foot, <laughs> the aglets on the ends. But that's how he did it. And I did that to my championship reds. And I think when it comes to not SB dunks, I might just end up tying them normally because if I tie them, um, <laughs> if I tie them, how I have my bread toes right here like this with my not SB dunks. I don't know if this is confusing or not. It kind of slides off my foot, but for some reason this doesn't slide off my foot, which is surprising, but maybe it's because it's my true size. I don't know, <laughs> but <clears throat> it depends on the shoe because seven and a half in Jordan threes, it kind of slides off my foot, but then seven and a half in a Jordan four, <laughs> it kind of, uh, it's a little, a little stiff, stiff and tight and it doesn't really slide anywhere, but I don't know. Most of my other shoes, I just leave the, the laces dangling. And I just go from there. But let me know any thoughts that you have down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out all links down in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And subscribe for more content from me. There's a lot of um, sneakers coming in at the end throughout the rest of february and march and april and just going forward so we're going to be going for a lot of stuff um mostly draws because i don't want to you know i'm trying to 
try to not spend as much money on sneakers. It's, it's hard. It's hard when you're a sneakerhead, even though I'm relatively new. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.